Hello everyone, two events of new unexplained gravitational wave have been reported in a recent paper. This may be a discovery of long sought dark matter. If so, this is gonna be a future Nobel Prize. Let me explain the detail. This is our famous. So since 2015, there have been already about 15 detections of gravitational waves from black hole black hole merger or neutron star neutron star mergers. These have been detected with the LIGO or Virgo gravitational wave detectors and then these are laser interferometry detectors. The way it works is when a gravitational wave comes then the space is going to be a little bit stretched or shrinked. It vibrates only only tiny bit and then LIGO or Virgo detectors use a laser beam and then put the mirror and then using the interferometer technique they measure the distance between the beam source and the mirror very very accurately and then detect this a little bit expansion or shrinking of the space in between arm length of LIGO detector is 4 km the change in the distance is only one thousandth of the size of a proton over four kilometers. This is, you know, how small the effect is. And then LIGO and Embargo have been successfully detecting these very, very tiny stretch of the space. Well, this is amazing. But these gravitational waves are from massive objects such as black hole black hole mergers. So that means they are at lower frequency. The frequency of these events are around 100 hertz or so. But the, in this new paper, the gravitational waves they detected were from much higher frequency at around 5 megahertz. So about million times higher frequency than the black hole black hole merge. So how they detected such a high frequency gravitational wave. So the researchers at the University of Western Australia and also Arc Center of Excellence for Dark Matter Particle Physics, they built this detector, a quartz crystal bulk acoustic wave resonator. Like shown in this picture, it's made of a quartz crystal disc. It's very tiny, about size of two centimeters or so. And then this quartz crystal disk is kept at 3.4 Kelvin. So it's very, very low temperature, minus 270 Celsius, also in a vacuum chamber. And then it's gonna be kept very, very still, shutting down all the noises in low temperature in vacuum. And then when this gravitational wave comes, this quartz crystal disk is going to vibrate at the resonance frequency and then researchers are going to detect this vibration to detect the gravitational wave. That's how it works. This kind of detectors has been only proposed since 2014 or so and then this is the first of this type of detector has been created. Using this detector they have observed for 153 days and then amazingly they detected two signals during this 153 days. As you see in this picture you see the noise and then suddenly in the middle you see the signal very very clear so this is not a noise it's much stronger than the noise. The top panel shows the detection in May 2019. The bottom panel shows the detection in November 2019. They detected two events. Very interesting. So where is it from? What is this? So researchers are very careful so they propose nine possibilities in the paper. I introduced two of them. One possibility is it may be from primordial black hole. So maybe you know that 26% uh, of the total energy budget of the universe is occupied by so-called dark matter. But we don't know what is dark matter and we have been looking for dark matter very very hard but no one has found dark matter yet. One of the candidates of dark matter is this primordial black hole. Primordial black holes are created in the very early universe. There's a density fluctuation and then this very dense region can collapse and then form primordial black holes. It is theoretically possible that those numerous black holes are floating in the universe and then these may be dark matter. 
but people try to find primordial black holes, but again, no one has found the hint yet. But these two signals may be from the merger of the two primordial black holes. If two primordial black holes with the mass of about 10 times the Earth mass, so it's very, very tiny for a black hole. If they merge, they're going to create a gravitational wave at around 5 megahertz. So this may be the detection of primordial black hole merger, which is a huge discovery. Another possibility is the detection of WIMP, weakly interacting massive particle. This WIMP is another candidate of dark matter, and this WIMP is theoretically predicted from the supersymmetry theory. So, with the theoretical background, people have been looking for WIMP very, very hard. There are huge experiments with multi-million dollars have been performed, but no one has found the WIMP yet. WIMP is a particle, so they might be flying around. And if this WIMP hits the crystal quartz disk, it should produce 5 megahertz vibration. So maybe this is a discovery of the WIMP. So final conclusion has not been drawn yet, so researchers are very, very careful. But if one of these are the origin of these two detected signals, either primordial black hole or WIMP dark matter discovery, this is a major discovery. This is a historic discovery in physics. I'm sure it will be a Nobel Prize. But as I said, final conclusion has not been yet. We need more evidence. And of course, these researchers at the Western Australian University will continue the observations. And then we need to figure out, are they really dark matter? And if it's so, is there enough to expand all 26% of the energy budget of the universe? We need more observational data. Only future observations will tell us the answer. I found this paper very interesting, but what did you think about it? Please let me know by writing comments below. If you liked the video, please like. If I find another interesting paper I will introduce in this channel, so please subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.